Welcome to the Eyes on the Sky series, an update about current astronomy, space science, and sky events. I'm astronomer Richard Monda, and this is Eyes on the Sky for July 2019. July starts with the moon as a slender crescent in the dawn sky and is visible in the east-northeast about a half hour before sunrise. This 2% waning lunar crescent appears near Venus, but the great brilliance of the current morning star is subdued by the glow of sunrise. On July 2nd, the moon is new and causes a total eclipse of the sun that is visible from the Pacific Ocean through South America. The moon is back in our evening sky on July 3rd, now as a young 2% illuminated waxing crescent. To the east of the moon are Castor and Pollux, the two marker stars of Gemini. To the west, is Mercury, and above the moon is Mars. Use binoculars to find these objects because all four are in the afterglow of sunset. So far, NASA has landed four rovers on the surface of Mars. The first was Sojourner, part of the Pathfinder mission that touched down on the red planet in July 1997. Then in 2003, the Mars Exploration rovers landed. These robotic devices all exceeded their design lifetime. Now Curiosity, an SUV-sized machine, explores the plains of Mars. On July 4th, the waxing crescent is higher in the sky and easy to see among the evening fireworks. By July 5th, the moon has reached Leo and appears near Regulus, the high-temperature blue-white star that represents the lion's heart. Then the fattening crescent glides under the lion on July 6th, and by the 7th is under Denebola, the lion's tail. At 6.55 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on July 9th, the moon reaches first quarter against the stars of Virgo. By the 12th, the waxing gibbous moon, now 86% lit, is among the summer stars, just past the scorpion's head. The moon is near Jupiter the next evening, and by the 14th, the gibbous moon has moved over the central teapot form of Sagittarius. On July 15th, the nearly full moon appears close to Saturn and is full at 5.38 p.m. on the 16th. For part of the world, there is a partial lunar eclipse that night. Unfortunately, this lunar eclipse is not visible from North America. In star lore, the folklore of the sky, the full moon of July is called the Buck Moon, because new antlers emerge from a male deer's forehead around this time of year. Of course, 50 years ago on July 16, 1969, a massive Saturn V liquid-fueled rocket carried the Apollo 11 astronauts into space for the first manned lunar landing. Three days later, Commander Neil Armstrong, Lunar Module Pilot Edwin Buzz Aldrin, and Command Module Pilot Michael Collins arrived at the moon and on July 20th, 1969, at 10.56 p.m., Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He was soon followed by Buzz Aldrin, while Michael Collins stayed in the command module in lunar orbit. Four days later, on July 24th, their capsules splashed down onto the Pacific Ocean, returning them safely to the Earth. By the last week of this July, the moon has made its way back into the morning sky and appears amid the stars of Taurus. On the 27th, look for the lunar crescent against the face of the bull. Then on the 28th, the thinning crescent is along the bull's lower horn. And on July 29th, the moon is low in the eastern sky before sunrise. The moon reaches its new phase again on July 31st, and this second new moon of the month is sometimes called a black moon. I'm Hudson Valley Community College astronomer Richard Monda reminding you to keep your eyes on the sky.